I'm Crystal, and I live with my husband Alex and our cat Riley. Despite living with lupus, I try to enjoy life to its fullest. So come share in life's big and little moments with me. In my shoes. Hey guys, it's Friday and I have got a late start going here. <laughs> um, I got up at like 10 o'clock this morning and then I just wanted to relax a little bit before diving into stuff. Um, just take it a little bit easy since I've had some breakthrough pain the last couple days. Well, nights I should say. So I thought I would just take it easy. So I just lounged around, had my breakfast, took my pills, had a tea, watched a little TV, um, updated my diary and my little best of... 2015 jar that kind of stuff then I had a very important video that I had to make um, for a viewer which I just edit started editing and realized that it is like over 50 minutes long so I am gonna split it into two parts <laughs> um, because I don't want it to be like super long because then it'll just take forever to upload so I narrowed it down to like I think 30 minutes roughly and then um, I'll do I'll edit the other part later but I want to get going now because it's already three and I had hoped to start like two hours ago at this but I want to get our Christmas decorations going um, Alex helped me take out all the boxes last night so they're all in our hallway there um, so the first thing that I have to do is remove all of our um, ornaments that are usually out throughout the year. Most of them I end up packing away so that I have room for our Christmas ornaments. Um, so I usually start by taking them all off, placing them on our island, and then I take that opportunity since things are removed from shelves and things to dust. So I have to dust all these shelves on the wall. Um, we dusted our TV stand last night because we got, yesterday, came in the mail. We got a, I don't know if you can see it very well from here. We got a Blu-ray player, our first one. Uh, we had been watching DVDs in our Xbox. And so anyways, we got a Blu-ray. We got, uh, I think it was a Black Friday sale Alex got it on. We also got some Blu-ray movies um, to go with it. I got Liar Liar, the Jim Carrey movie. Um, I got some Christmas movies, things like that. Pretty cool. So we set that up last night as well. And also yesterday, I got my annual progress report for your Jolies, um from World Vision. So I thought I'd quickly show you that. So here it is, and there she is holding this cute little thing that she made me. I guess you could use it as a bookmark. But how cool is that? This is the first time that I got a picture of her holding the thing that she made me. So that's really cool. So again, like what I what I did with um, Maria, I'll show you this. This was usually when I started sponsoring her. This is her now. Look at that. I can't believe it. So um, I really didn't get a chance to read through all of this last night. So I thought I'd quickly go through it with you guys. So we've got a couple of things in here this year. It's changed a little bit from previous years. I'm just going to sit for a minute. So it says, hello, sponsor. I want to tell you that this year I am healthy. Currently, I am attending school. She is in primary school in the sixth grade. Um, not repeating a year, which is good. The name of my best friend is Lit Litzy. Um, in my community, families are in the community, families are, or my family is engaged in factory work. In my community, there are valleys. 
and a staff volunteer helped to complete this report. Um, let's see, we can open this a little bit more. Okay. So we got this little story of someone in their community. Anthony is four years old. He has had speaking problems since he was two years old. His mother decided to be part of an early education center, um, which is controlled by World Vision. After many therapies and treatment methods, Anthony entered preschool. Little by little, he has shown many psychological changes. His mom, Jenny, says, I am, I am thankful to World Vision for the early education project. My son can resolve his speaking problems and his shyness because in the past he cried when someone greeted him. This is not happening anymore now. He is not afraid to say hello to people on the street. In the center, he has been helped in the process of participation. Jenny participates in the pro project like a teaching mother in one of the early education systems. She has been trained in different themes, such as the importance of early learning with purpose to give the best attention to the 15 children that are using this service. This initiative has been received for the community and the families because many children will see the success of growing as normal kids. So that's a story of impact. And then over here says my participation, uh, my family and I have participated in the library from my school has been bet has better conditions now. So, and then um, community participation in my community, World Vision has implemented participate. She participated in the celebration of International Children's Day. So, as you can see, sometimes the English is a little off because, of course, they have to translate. Um, from Spanish. Um, so yeah, so this is kind of neat. This year they've they've given stories for different children in the community. Um, usually they kind of give like an, a generalized update of the community, but this is pretty cool. Daniela, 17 years old, says, I have been learning beauty for three years. I'm very happy because it has brought me benefits. Daniela is integrated in the vocational courses that have been developed in the community with a group of 15 young people. She has been certified and she works in her house. This has been an opportunity to support her family and continue studying. This is Katrin, uh, 10 years old. Um, she participates with 30 primary school children in a campaign for scholar hygiene. She shares with other children of her community the importance of health and the prevention of illness. This campaign is coordinated with the Ministry of Health and 17 schools in the territory to reduce illness and prevent bacteria. And last, we have Marlene, 24-year-old. Um, Marlene says it's very important to help other mothers obtain the stimulation of their children to develop motion abilities and grow healthy and strong in this stage fundamentally. My son has been developing abilities, and now he has more coordination when playing. She has participated in three different early education centers, and she trained 30 different mothers. And then there's Yorgely's picture. And it also came with this thing that Yorgely's got to fill out herself. This is for the age range of 6 to 12. So it says, my name is Yorgely's. And inside, they had to fill out this thing. So it says, I am, and she had to color and circle like one of these things. It says, paint and circle the picture that best describes you. So she said she is a dancer. Really cool. And she, what is this? Um, her mother helped her with this project. Um, and other... This looks like it's in Spanish, so I'm not sure what it says, but she drew a picture. So, and then this was draw something that you like in your community. And she drew this, and I'm not sure what that means in Spanish. If anyone out there speaks Spanish and you could let me know what this means and what this means, or right here, um, please let me know. <laughs> 
And then the last one was saying um, to basically color their favorite fruit and then connect the favorite fruit, fruit to the fruit basket. Um, so she had to choose from these and these. And it looks like she chose um, like a lemon or a lime, banana, coconut, and watermelon. And I have to say, I found it really funny that she did not pick the pineapple because pineapple is not really one of my favorites either. And Alex always teases me about that, saying that I'm nuts for not liking pineapple. I will say this, I can tolerate it. Um, I like it in our sweet and sour chicken that we make. And sometimes I don't mind it on pizza. And I have um, forced myself a few times to make pineapple water to drink first thing in the morning because I've heard that it's good for you but it's really not my favorite thing in the world. <laughs> um, and so I just found that funny that she did not pick the pineapple. I was like, yeah, I'm not alone in this. <laughs> so, um, and I love bananas. I love coconut, love watermelon. So that was, I thought that was pretty cool. So, so yeah, that is her update. And now it is time to Get the Christmas music on. We're gonna put the Christmas music on and start to get Christmas up in here. Woo! Somebody's already getting in on the action. Merry Christmas, Riley. What are you doing in the box? It's a cat in a box. Woo! A cat in the box, yeah. Okay. All the Christmas decorations are up. Still got a couple little things there. Riley is taking up the entire love seat. <laughs> and we got stuff here. Here's the cool part. I did this in one take this year. Usually it takes me like two or three times, but I got it in one shot right here on this pole. And Got this going over here, and we already have some Christmas cards. Thank you, Kimberly. I got this Christmas card today. That's all of Kimberly's babies. And we got a card here from Alex's cousin. And the best part, the tree is up. And again, I got the garland on in one take. Again, usually takes me anywhere between two to four tries to get it so that the garland ends at the back of the tree. So you don't like just see it cut off randomly at the front. This year, I got it in one take. Woohoo! Yeah! I am smoking. <laughs> Grace is thrilled, as you can tell. <laughs> um, yes. And the tree isn't leaning because I used my trick that I did last year. So now all that is left is to decorate. Well guys, the tree is done. <sighs> and it's straight, which is awesome. So yeah, that is done. I just had a shower because I was sweating so much from doing this tree. It is such a workout. Um, I can't believe I did this all in one day and I'm not in pain. <laughs> so I was saying to Alex earlier that it's probably a good thing that I was able to get it done today because next week is when I'm going to go down to three milligrams of prednisone and then I might be feeling it. So. It's good that I get it done while I'm feeling good. So I'm a day ahead of schedule, guys. I'm so excited because I thought I was gonna do the tree tomorrow, but it's done now. So tomorrow I think I'm going to go and get the rest of the ingredients I need from the bulk barn because I have another coupon to use, which is why I didn't get everything last weekend because I knew I had a coupon I could use for this weekend. So get all of that and I'll probably start um, well, I have to wrap my niece's birthday gift because we're going to see her on Sunday. So I'll have to dig that out tomorrow and wrap that. And then I'm going to start making my Christmas gifts. Um, and 
yeah it'll be it would really be nice if I could actually get the Christmas gifts that I have to make finished by the end uh, by the time I have to go back to work on Tuesday so fingers crossed on that and I heard yesterday um, before leaving work uh, Margaret's mom gave me an update on the renovations and the date that the contractors gave her was that they'd be starting not this coming week but the week after so my birthday week um, so if all goes well if they don't change that date on them then I will be off for six weeks starting my birthday week so yay that well, that would mean only three more days of work um, so yeah that's gonna be awesome and it's gonna be even more awesome if I'm already finished my Christmas gifts and stuff by then because then all I'll have to do is I don't know go to I want to go to the Christmas marketplace in the distillery district with my mom that'll be exciting and like I said I want to take a group photo of the babies in their Christmas outfits um, so I can make up Christmas cards to send out so yeah I'm hoping that like probably by the end of next weekend I'll have the Christmas cards done and presents wrapped and that way I can ship off Christmas gifts to friends and send out the Christmas cards so that's my plan guys and then after that just relaxing and watching Christmas movies will be the plan so um yeah so anyways, I am now starving, <laughs> so I'm going to eat something, and I'm going to end this video here, so yay for getting the Christmas decorations done. I'm so excited. So anyways, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it, and don't worry, I will give you a better tour of the Christmas decorations in another video. Um, I have a couple of things to show you and stuff like that. So we'll see you next time, guys. Have a good weekend. Bye. Um, so the first order of business, um, the lupus fundraiser baby. <laughs> oh, boy. Um, I need some light. There we go. Um, the lupus fundraiser baby has been put on hold. I really thought I would have been able to finish it this month and get it up on eBay this month, but it's been a really slow process just because